Hey everybody, thought I'd show this one of one of the my most popular video that I have on my YouTube channel, even though my channel is about building a live steam locomotive and other machine shop things. The most popular video so far I have is about building a sliding deck gate. So I'm doing another home improvement project and I thought I'd show something that's pretty handy because if you are painting cabinet doors. What I'm doing is repainting my uh, kitchen cabinet doors and uh, all, all of the cabinets actually. I had read about a technique for um, the painting them that people buy little plastic pyramids to put the uh, doors on while they're drying and I thought you know I could do something like that. What I've done, this is my little tip, I've got these are standard old-fashioned roofing nails that I just hold down on a piece of paper, a piece of wood paneling, with a piece of duct tape. And what's awesome about it is it lets you set the door down. You know, you can paint one side and set it down, and paint the other side, and just let it dry like that. And you can't even see, you don't see any marks for where the the nails are, and. Um, it, it allows you to do the paint project about twice as fast as it would take, you know, if you had to wait for one side to dry completely before you moved on to the next. Over here, I've got the larger doors that I, I put two by fours down and I've arranged different configurations for varying widths of doors. And on these larger doors, to make the nail more stable, I used a cross-shaped piece of duct tape, but you can see pretty clearly what I'm doing here. Oh, sorry about the finger in the way. But it works out great, and um, while I'm at it, I'll tell you about the equipment. You know, I showed some folks, and they're like, oh, do you have a sprayer? Well, I have a sprayer, but I didn't use it. All I've been using is an ordinary, inexpensive little roller. These small, short rolls, let me show you the brand. Dripless woven, they're quarter inch lint free, very high quality. These are not cheap, but everything else is cheap, and um, they work out great. You get a fantastic finish. You just saw it when I started. I mean, I'm using satin paint, and it's finishing up really good. For the detail work, I have this very high quality inch and a half angle brush that I use, and for the primer, this is the brand of paint I've been using, this Insulex cabinet coat, highly recommend this stuff. I went to my local, locally owned paint store and um, there's the primer, it's called Styx, you can't see it because I've poured all over it, but S-T-I-S-X, or S-T-I-X right here, Styx, it's like painting on Elmer's glue <laughs> onto your cabinets. But I scrubbed the cabinets down real, real good, wiped them off, uh, used some crud cutter that I got at my paint store also crud cutter gloss off and after I did that then I, I went over it with that other rag back there a um, little wet rag cleaned them off and um, this is what I scrubbed them with for I used some uh, ammonia based kitchen cleaning stuff first let that dry, then I used the crud cutter, and then I wiped off with just a damp cloth. So the doors, if you paint it a lot, you know that having stuff incredibly clean is the key. It's all about the surface preparation. But then I just used the inexpensive roller, a little paintbrush. Here is the Insulex cabinet coat. This is, um, my wife wanted the, it's a Sherwin-Williams color called extra white that's what you saw over there we also did the bases in kendall charcoal and they came out great too i did the bases first so little tip about cabinet painting um, and most specifically you can it the doors are very time consuming obviously i took them off doing the face frames is easy use the combination of the roller and the the paintbrush and um, that, that didn't take any time at all. The doors obviously take more time because of the drying time and the, the detail work. But what I would, I cleaned everything off. My typical pattern would be I did a set at a time, cleaned it all off like I just described, 
let it dry, and then I would use the sticks primer and I let this dry for at least three or four hours. And once the sticks was dry, then I would put the first coat of color coat, the Insulex cabinet coat on there, and I'd wait at least six hours, and then I'd put the, put the second coat on. And the best thing to do is to wait a couple of days till everything hardens up before you um, start using them again. But, uh, and then, you know, put the doors back on. So, I know a little closing shot here with the cabinet doors. They came out great. This is just after the first coat. So they've been cleaned. They had a coat of primer and the first coat of color on the fronts and the backs. I'm just getting ready to do the second coat on here. And I uh, thought I'd show the tip about using the nails and the duct tape. Obviously, be safe as soon as the project's over. We don't have small kids or pets in here, so I, d I didn't worry too much about the nails. But as soon as the project's over, I'll take those nails up. I'll have to throw away the duct tape, but everything else, I can still reuse the 2x4s and the roofing nails for the next thing. So thanks for watching, everybody. Good luck with your cabinet painting projects. And I, as I said, this is not a paid endorsement or anything, but, you know, I've used a lot of different kinds of paint. I've used Rust-Oleum, I mean, Krylon. Uh, but the, the Insulex was highly recommended, and I used it, and it did turn out very, very nice. So I'd highly recommend that. And the Styx Primer worked great as well. It is expensive. This paint is, th you're looking at almost $200 worth of paint right there. So that's the, your pricey part, that and the, the inexpensive painting tools. So good luck with your projects. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you posted.